peace and quiet, eh? How nice. Okay, we're in my one of my favourite places here. I'm just going to show you what I've done to the bike. Um, as you probably know, I have a new machine. I've been here before with my old Tiger Sport. Well, when I say old, it wasn't that old. But um, anyway, I want to show you my uh, my new contraption here. As you know, it's a Tiger 900. Uh, a thing of beauty. I've done away with the matte paint. I will never buy another matte black bike or car for that matter again. It's too much to look after. And here we are. Look, the 900 GT Pro. And uh, I just run through with you what I've done. So we got at the front, we got a fender extender here from Pyramid Plastics. Not the prettiest of things, I admit, but it does the job. We got radiator guards here. These are aluminium from Triumph. We got the top crash bars and the bottom crash bars again from Triumph. Um, oh, I got the ignition on still, idiot. And we got, uh, what else have we got here? The spotlights are out a little bit. They've come out a little bit. They were here on a standard. With the crash bars, they come out a little bit wider, which I, th I think is a good thing. Let me turn that off a minute. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a quick shifter. Of course, that comes as part of the Pro package. And we got electronic suspension on the back. I bought a pyramid, pyramid plastics uh, infill here. It's meant to stop all the crap and everything coming over the back of your leg. And as you can see, before I fitted it, there is a little bit that's come through. I don't know if it will help or not. Uh, heated seat on the back for the pillion. Oh, we got, of course, a hugger from Puge. Bought a hugger, fitted that. Um, what else? We got the pizza box at the back. That's the same one as I had before on the Tiger Sport. I changed the uh, reflective stickers for silver ones instead of the yellow high-vis ones. Um, what else have I done? Da, da, da. God, I can't remember. I'm sure there was something. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, I put the Tom Tom here. Um, on the Evotech bracket, which is a bit fiddly to fit, but seems to work fine. So we put that up as well. Um... I think that's about it, really. Oh, I bought this from Triumph. I'm a sucker for things like that. Oh dear, more money. Anyway, all in all, I'm very happy with it. You know, very happy indeed. It is so easy to ride. Handles like a dream. So why don't we see what it's like on the road? Uh -huh, let's go. I actually forgot to say as well, there's um, a, a small infill here. That is a, a hole. I don't know why Triumph put a hole in there. I'm not quite sure. But you can get a, an infill also with pyramid uh, plastics and it stops all the crud coming out over there right let's get on the road okay we have um a, what do you call it a quick shifter on here which uh, i absolutely love and adore 
to be perfectly honest with you, I have found it's better to, you know, uh, to shift gears manually until it's warmed up a bit. I don't know if that's right or wrong or, or whatever, but it, it just seems like that to me anyway, you know, so... There's a sea over there, you probably can't see it on the GoPro, but um, that's the Bristol Channel. I tell you what, there was nothing wrong with this bike. The acceleration, oh my god. This is only 94 brake horsepower, uh, which is enough, I think, in my opinion. You ha I had uh, before 125 or 126 on the Tiger Sport. Do I notice any difference? Well, I haven't caned this one yet because uh, I, I've only done a hundred and something miles so I obviously haven't uh, over revved it or anything but um, do I notice any difference well no no this has got plenty of oomph makes a change to have the Sun out the Sun glistening off the off the sea This is also uh, a little bit of a test with, um, there we are, a little bit of a test going on here with the DJI. I've actually turned the mic gain down to the maximum of minus 12 dB. I'm hoping it will sound a little bit better. Oh, it's as good as it can. <laughs> uh, anyway. What an absolutely glorious day. We'll have a, a little look at the seafront in Porthcawl. If you're watching this because you're interested in the Tiger 900, you'll already know that they've changed the cruise control over to this side, to the left, as opposed to my Tiger Sport, which was on the right. It's much better here. Very fiddly to operate. In fact, I used to operate it with my left hand like this so uh, being on the right hand side is much better I love the dash layout this uh, particular style is the one I'm gonna keep it's just so easy to you know to ride you know I know uh, most bikes they, they lose their weight and everything when you're actually moving but by God this is Ah, it's just easy. Stay there, car. Stay there. Thank you. I think when uh, when you're using the quick shifter, it's much smoother when you keep the throttle pinned open. Okay, there we are. God, aren't I nice? <laughs> Having a quick shifter is not a, not an essential part of a motorbike by any means. Um, but when you want to have a, a little bit of a play, I think it makes a bit of, you know, it, it, it adds to the fun. Oh, birds everywhere. It just adds to the fun, you know? So, this is Boo's, what do you call that? Coffee shop? How are you doing there? So the camera looking back at me, like you, you are the GoPro Hero 9. 
I've changed to this GoPro, uh, sorry, to the DJI Osmo Action 3 um, for two reasons really. It's a little bit cheaper, you know, I, it, well, it's about £100 cheaper actually. Um, in my opinion, it does the job absolutely fine. But the main reason I swapped over was reliability. I am so fed up the GoPro just corrupting the SD card or you know not you, you think you're filming it doesn't or there's nothing on the on the SD card it, oh, it's absolute nightmare at times so just over here to the left is Respe all these healthy type people don't you just love them I wish I could be one of them so that's Rest Bay down there. That's where Royal Porthcawl Golf Club is. I used to have holidays down there when I was a when I was a kid. When I used to live in Kent in England. So with this um, bike I have Metzler Torrance next or something, uh, tires fitted. I've seen on YouTube mixed reports about them. Um, I, I can't really comment. I haven't uh, had enough experience on this bike yet to actually make a decision on are they any good or not. Of course they're new. They feel nice. It, the handling is as sweet as you could get. But some people say they're, they're not very good. And others say they're brilliant. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of a scenic route here over to Ogmore by Sea. Um, I need to put a few miles on here because uh, we're actually me and my mate Tim. We are actually going away in May to. Uh, to the Ardennes in Belgium, the Belgium Ardennes. And I need to get the bike serviced before then. So uh, I have to put a little bit of mileage on it. This is the old uh, sheep dipping bridge coming up here. A little bit dodgy with people coming over. Uh, yes, say nothing. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah, very nice. In fact, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go down to Merthamau. Oops, thank you. We're going to go down to Merthamau and um, have a look at my favourite church. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not getting all uh, all religious on you. It's, uh, it's just that it's quite picturesque down here. I do hope that the sound quality is better now. Beautiful. On my previous videos using the DJI, I have noticed there was um, distinct over-modulation. Thank you. Uh, more fit type people? God. Look, I'm saying nothing, okay? Nothing at all. I don't want to get into trouble. It's 
very nice, isn't it? So, ah, oh, look at the horses. So this is actually Merthyr Mawr Estates. And uh, oh, look at all that through all the crap. And um, yeah, Merthyr Mawr Estate, I don't actually know who owns it all. But I believe that these cottages are all let by the estate. At one time it would have been for all the workers, I, I suppose. Anyway, here we are, look at this. If you've seen any of my videos before, you will know that I am quite a regular here. I forgot to mention earlier, look, I got an extra foot for the um, side stand there. And the side stand indeed is, uh, it's a side stand from the GT Low because I've had this lowered because of my stupidly short legs. And, uh, The bike was far too upright before. It would only take like a little knock that way and uh, it would have fallen over. So that, that works a treat, it works a treat. So here is uh, my favorite church, Church of St. Tylo. Ah, oh, they put a new path in right here. And look at that absolute beast of a bike. God, oh dear, oh dear. I am so happy with this. Yeah, it's a pity I had to have it lowered because obviously it lowers the uh, the ground clearance on it. But, um, no, it's, it's beautiful. By the way, I'll give um, this guy, I, I'm a, I subscribe to him on YouTube, a, I think it's Tiger Ness. Tiger Ness. And um, he gave me the tip about the short stand on one of his videos. And uh, anyway... I'll say goodbye a minute, because I'm going to go into church and have a look, as I do. <laughs> Sometimes the peace and quiet is so... <sighs> I, it's just beautiful, isn't it? This church has to be one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful, in uh, in this area. I'm in South Wales, near Bridgend, where I live. So, um... There were 
be interesting to have a look inside, maybe. Let's have a look, see if we can get in. Oh, look, if you walk your dog, you've got some water. Could do with a bit of a clean out though. So, let's see how uh, this comes up on the GoPro. We can go inside. I know the GoPro likes to have um, plenty of light, really. Now, last year there was a huge um, wasp or bee nest up there, I'm not quite sure. You couldn't see it, it was in the, under the slates. But I don't hear any bees or see them on the outside at all. So I don't know if they've uh, got rid of them. There's obvious tributes there from, or for the soldiers um, in World War One. It's not a very big church. For some reason, there's a step here, and I don't really want to pass, uh, go over there. Uh, it's like I'm forbidden. <laughs> I'm not sure if I am or not. So, anyway, that's the church of St. Tylos in Merthamau village. Beautiful. Well, that was interesting. When, uh, when I was in the church, ah, oh, I got an itchy nose, excuse me. Excuse me, I have to... Oh, God damn it. Yeah, when I was in the church, the uh, people who look after it, I don't know what they're called, caretakers or something posher than that. Um, nice couple came in and, uh, you know, they were telling me about the church and what they do and this, that, the other. All very, uh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. I recommend people visit that one. Uh, it's a beautiful area with uh, with all the little cottages, the thatched cottages and everything. It's a great to have a little walk around. And you can walk over the... Uh, over the swing bridge over to Ogmore Castle as well and if you f so fancy you can have a pint at the Pelican but, uh, oh very nice oh, lots of lots of smoky bears about oh change gear Anyway, the object of the exercise now is to burn a bit of, well, a bit of fuel. <laughs> we'll have a nice little run round to uh, Ogmore by Sea and all that, and uh, hopefully the mileage will rack up. She knows, my God. There's um, Ogmore Castle here. Let me just, uh, I'll just show you. Oh, change gear, come on, come on, come on. But, uh, over there, over there, it's a swing bridge, and just beyond there is that church of St. Tylos. And it's a it's a very nice walk along there. It's only a few hundred yards, really. 
That's uh, Merthyr Mawr sand dunes across there as well. You can also walk over there on a nice summer's day to the, to the sea. Let's go. And Merthyr Mawr, sorry, Ogmore by Sea Castle. Or Ogmore Castle, I should say. And here, here is the pelican in her piety. Oh, I see it's just called the pelican now. Great road. Anyway, I won't bore you anymore. And uh, I'll wish you um, a good week. So we'll call it a day at the moment and uh, I'll catch you all later. Thank you very much.